Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is the day after Kansas City once again won the Super Bowl. It's February the 12th, 2024. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, Pat Mahomes, wow. Let's just say wow. But let's have some perspective, especially for older folks like me. Mahomes just threw his fifth pick in a Super Bowl game, right? He has three Super Bowl wins. If we're seriously going to have conversations about whether this 28-year-old is the best quarterback in NFL history, right? There's talk about him and Tom Brady what I want this generation to realize is that Joe Montana had four Super Bowl wins. That's more than Pat has right now. Threw 122 passes over four Super Bowls and had no picks. Right? So if we're going to have a greatest quarterback ever conversation, if that's in the lexicon right now, if that's going to be discussed during Super Bowl telecasts involving Mr. State Farm here, Pat, uh, Pat Mahomes. The conversation has to include Joe Montana, who was at the game. Now let's talk about our own Super Bowl picks. Let me congratulate Billy Walters. Um, for those who follow him, wow, is he a successful gambler. Let me just say our own Super Bowl picks. The Niners in the first half, that cashed. Pat Mahomes to throw an interception, that cashed. Brock Purdy to win MVP, did not cash. Although, let's be clear here too. When Brock Purdy left the field in overtime, he had a lead. Right? Let's be clear. You know, enough talk about Brock Purdy being Mr. Irrelevant. Folks, he just went head-to-head -head with Pat Mahomes, leaves the field with the lead. That's after more than four quarters. Right now, for other gamblers, you know, there is in-game betting. At halftime, you've got an amazing opportunity. Right? I thought, I thought the 49ers were going to win the game. Right? Not the way I played it. I played the first half bet that cashed. But understand, at halftime, you got KC, who was down at the time. You got KC plus four. Right? Plus four at halftime. In the comment section of this YouTube video, gamblers, tell me how you played the props and the odds that were offered at halftime. Understand, this is the third Super Bowl game where Pat Mahomes has been down by at least a touchdown in the second half that he has come back and won. Now, given that history, KC plus four at halftime was a tantalizing play, right? Understood, The depending on where you bet. The line at kickoff was San Francisco by either two or two and a half. I had a friend in Vegas who was telling me that he was in a casino that was only offering one and a half, but I wasn't able to find that line online, right? But just to understand, at halftime here, uh, in a Super Bowl involving Andy Reid and Pat Mahomes, who chronically fall behind by halftime, they were giving you a plus four. Let me also say, too, for other gamblers, there was an intriguing bet. It's understated bet. Which team would have the bigger number of first downs? Right? This is a bad beat bet because you had that bet won when San Francisco left the field. It's only because Pat Mahomes, <laughs> Pat Mahomes leads his team down the field and gets several first downs on that last drive that, believe it or not, Kansas City won the bet on which team had the greatest number of first downs. Understand, at one point in the game, if you were following the first down prop, San Francisco was up seven first downs to one, right? The only reason that first quarter was competitive was because of turnovers and miscues by the Niners. 
If the Niners want to know where they lost that game, I would say look at the first quarter. Also look at the missed extra point. Now, of all of Pat Mahomes' Super Bowl wins, I believe this one is going to age the best. An argument can be made that this is Pat Mahomes' best Super Bowl run. Let's just talk about his last three games. He beats Buffalo as an underdog on the road. Right? Mahomes, of course, has a history with Buffalo. Buffalo had him where they wanted him, at home. Buffalo's running the football well in that game. Well, winners somehow find a way to win games like that. And that's what Pat Mahomes did in Buffalo. Then he beats the number one seed in his conference, Baltimore, as an underdog on the road. Right, folks? Gamblers love quarterbacks who can win as underdogs in big games. Here is Pat Mahomes beating MVP winner Lamar Jackson and a historical defense as an underdog in Baltimore. Then he follows that up by beating the one seed in the NFC again as an underdog in the Super Bowl. So this is not a guy on a super team steamrolling people. This is not a guy who needs to be at home to beat one seeds. Pat Mahomes' last two games, folks, he's beaten one seeds as an underdog. Let's talk about that final drive, and they'll be talking about that a long time. Understand, the Kansas City Chiefs needed three points on that last drive to continue on in the game, to stay viable. Now, the day after the Super Bowl, we're all dazed and confused, but just understand, on Kansas City's own 34-yard line, on a fourth down, Right? If it goes the other way, San Francisco wins the title. Pat Mahomes gets the first down. Later in that drive, Pat Mahomes, who at times is a one-man team, runs for 19 yards. Right, Pat Mahomes is not exactly Lamar Jackson. He runs for 19 yards on a key play to get another first down. Of course, Pat does not give the Niners another chance because he doesn't get three points on the drive. He gets the touchdown, right? I believe we're going to be talking about that for a long time because there's so many, excuse me, so few overtimes in Super Bowl games, right? And it's just the idea that Pat's literally one play away from elimination and converts on fourth down and then follows that up later in the drive with a key 19-yard run himself, right? So as we're looking for guys to fet, Pat Mahomes is certainly in the conversation. Now, Mahomes is 28. He has won as many Super Bowls as Troy Aikman, right? Many people are saying, hey, look, this guy might be the best ever. Right? All I want, and I know we're comparing him to Tom Brady, right? I do want people to look at a game that Brady lost in a Super Bowl that to me arguably is the best passing game a quarterback has had in a Super Bowl. That's when Brady lost to Philadelphia and Nick Foles. Take a look at that box score, folks. It's a wow moment. But let me just say, if we're going to be as thorough as possible, if we're going to talk about who's the best ever, and if Super Bowl wins is one of the ultimate measuring sticks, Joe Montana has to be included in the conversation. Understand, some of the people who you believe are just part of the 49ers' success 
didn't even arrive until midway through Joe Montana's ongoing career Super Bowl run, right? Understand, Montana starts out with Freddie Solomon and Dwight Clark as his wide receivers. He doesn't get Rice until he's already won a Super Bowl title. He doesn't get Roger Craig until he has already established himself as a Super Bowl champion, right? So I know we forget uh, what older guys have done. I understand I'm the old guy in the bar who keeps attracting younger guys who want to tell me that LeBron is better than Michael. <laughs> okay, you know, all I can say is simply this. Pat Mahomes is football's LeBron. Right? You're going to have a real hard time convincing older people like me that he's better than Joe Montana when Montana has five fewer picks and one more win in Super Bowl competition. Right? Pat's a bad man. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer now and he has a lot of his career to play ahead of him. Right? But let's just say when you're talking about the best ever in any sport, the water is extremely deep, right? Pat's story is ongoing. That's how I see it. I congratulate Pat and the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, another win. Uh, this is big news too for Andy Reid, right? Because you have coaches like Tom Flores who have two Super Bowl wins. Right? Three Super Bowl wins. Wow, you're in rarefied air. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Let me also invite gamblers who had bad beats, like the number of first downs, which fell apart for Niner fans on Pat's last drive. Tell us about that in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.